Thank you for staying with us. It's a Friday morning and we cut into the newspapers and what they have for us. And guess who's joining me? Samuel Kojo Brace. Doing the do. Yeah. Sammy, morning. Yeah. Morning. Apple man. I'm here now. Oh, yeah, seminar. Please, please, please. My man started. Ah, who Ah, uh, 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 ah, so, oh, yeah, seminar. Uh, I'm sure you wanted to say a seminar. A uh, day. Uh, a seminar. Oh, come back on the back on an American, but some some ones they hear there, some you know they think <laughs> it has to do with it. I'm sure you're so a so, seminar uh, is that what you're asking for? And, uh, you wanted to say, Kedia, no, 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 not okay. not not your role. You know, those who say on your seminar, or you people, you also say, uh, a hunter, we also have the 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 way in there. Which one? So, what, what is the hunter rendition of what? Of what I said, I don't even, I didn't even hear what you said. You're just what being, you're, you're just oh. being <laughs> unnecessarily. Eh? Why are you being mischievous this no, morning? No, no, no. What, what? I mean, a seminar. In my language, when we say a seminar, mm -hmm. it means what are you saying? A eh. seminar. Ah. A seminar. So, like, you say something to me, and I'm like, a seminar. How do you say good morning in your language again? Mumuahe. 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 Or mumabashe. You know, my baba, my baba, my mama be ahe, my mama bashing, or my mama washing, and my mama ahe. So if you say, if I want to say good morning to you, I say my mama o ahe. But if I want to say good morning to all of you, my mama be ahe. It's beautiful how languages yeah. operate and the different changes and all of that. I, I was being, being someone who is fond of languages myself, it's a memo ache no. Good. My mama ahe. My mama ahe. Good. So our ache. Good, good, good. So uh, we say Colombia for egg. Oh, Kosia, Nchefua, Colombia, Colombia. Hey, so ours the Nzema and Brosa and our win. Similar. Do you speak any Nzema? Yes, a little. So like Kode, but Mukosuano, Mukosuano means I'm going home in Nzema. Hunter will say, Muko. So you're pretty, you're pretty adept with Enzima. It's, it's yeah. not a big deal compared Wait, no, to the Hunter. No, 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 no. When you speak, I'll hear everything. But I can. I How can to speak, respond? Uh, I can speak some, not all. Right. Like the Enzima person will also hear everything I say. Right. I cannot speak it. Kind of like the Ga, the Dangbe. Yes. Thing. I should think so. Like twin sister language. Right. Right. Our right. sister, sister language to Enzima, Awin, Brosa. Mm. And then there is one tribe in Ivory Coast. I've forgotten their name. Enyin. Mm. So there are five languages are similar. Anyway, so uh, very interesting lessons we're getting this morning from the man Samuel Kojo Brace. And uh, now that you mentioned the Ivory Coast, you know a lot of them also, I mean, there are interlinkages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for, for example, Freddie Mayway, mm -hmm. you would see that in some of mm -hmm. his songs, you would hear. Enzima. Exactly. Because of the, exactly. they are very close. Yeah. And Enzima is. My, my, my brothers and sisters will forgive me, but you know, at the point, they are hey, abroad. Remember to bomb wow. They are abroad was Ivory Coast. So, a lot of them are going to Ivory Coast. Yeah, so. Please, I dissociate myself totally from these comments. Uh, they won't be angry. You can know. only <laughs> <laughs> accuse a certain Samuel Kondro breaks. But on that note, I think he's up to mischief. Very mischievous. <laughs> so, let's get into the papers. I have the Daily Graphic, Daily Guide, uh, The Custodian, and The Accra Times. What do you have this morning? Um, I have the Times, the Ghanaian Times, I have the Finder, uh, the Daily Statesman, I have the Republic, and the Publisher. Okay, so Republic have. Press. Right. Um, All right. Let's start with you. Okay, so the Ghanaian Times newspaper. It says, uh, economy will bounce back stronger. That's according to President Kufuado. <clears throat> um, when he was speaking at the Founders Day luncheon, that's where he made the statement. Uh, a bit of uh, details there on this story. Again, we know how difficult things are have been for the economy. He says that he is optimistic about the country's economic recovery and its future, despite the current challenges the nation is going through. Um, now, the president says the, the, the country's economy would bounce back stronger than ever before. Uh, he said the can-do spirit of Ghanaians, which led to the country's independence from British colonial rule, would guide the government's efforts to address the economic challenges so a bit of uh, some reassurance there that whatever we're going through now, things will take shape. Things will be better. Uh, let's <clears> see how it, uh, the how for us to get 
to the better point is what we're looking at. But let's see how it goes. Uh, Ghana records 400,000 tourist arrivals in first quarter of 2022, according to Dr. Awal. Um, 12 die in road crash at Edweje. That's in the Commander Edna Ebafu yeah. Ebrim yeah. municipality. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> so those are the stories. And a ban on new LPG facilities lifted. So those are the stories on the front page of the Ghanaian Times newspaper. And I think the, the 12 dies is something that uh, the, the MC is talking tough. Yeah. That whoever, I think there was a fire which was lit around the road, which generated some smoke. Mm. And I'm told this is the reason why there was poor visibility on the road. He says, whoever is culpable will be dealt with according to the law. I, I hope. I hope that happens. You remember the, the case of, Ebony, Ebony Rains, mm -hmm. and how supposedly there was yeah. a pile of sand mm -hmm. which should not have been yeah. eating into the road and then trying to avoid it. You know, these things are often things you would see. <clears throat> but, Rocks, you know, these stones for... Yeah. Quarry stones. Quarry stones. Mm -hmm. Sand. You would often see some very, you know, yeah. uh, prominent stretches of road and they've mm -hmm. been blocked by an individual mm -hmm. or, or company or mm -hmm. something of the sort. Yeah. And then you now have to meander through. And in doing so, if you have an accident, who is to blame? Mm. You know, these yeah. things happen all the time. And so I, I was going to say that Ebony's death didn't teach us any lesson. Because Obviously, we, we like didn't said, learn the lessons. Major roads, you see that we've dumped sand and quarry stones beside it, sometimes taking half of the road. Yeah. And we're okay, nobody talks about it. Mm. it it's, we are in a very serious place. But another story that, that I don't know if uh, the numbers are good for us, mm. 400,000 tourists in first quarter. I think it, it should be. Which means that we have... We record about a million tourists, 800,000 to a million tourists, even, <laughs> even yeah. considering the year of return mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. all the other dynamics mm -hmm. uh, to it. So then if, it should be good. If um, because first, first quarter, quarter that is the first uh, what? Three, months. three months, Yes, we've got this, then it means there's yeah. some uptick. If it will, it will repeat, it means that we'll be making 1.6 million by the end of the year. Right. If you are, you are holding every constant, every, Everything every, constant. every factor constant, right. then... Hmm. Maybe we should just hold the numbers constant because <laughs> the factors may, different things may, may happen. But uh, it, it would also be on the back of COVID-19 restrictions being eased now uh -huh. and people, uh, you know, so the uh, economic that life returning to mm. some level of normalcy, not full levels of normalcy, mm. but some levels of normalcy. So mm. who knows? Anyway, let's but we pray yeah, this. This is sure, sure, sure. like like the other time we're, like, we're saying here the other time. If roads leading to our tourist site right. are developed, right, I'm telling you, even we'll, intra-country yeah, yeah, yeah. tourism, we'll do more. You would want to go yeah. there, but the, the sites yeah. leading to some of them are terrible. Are terrible, and, and you know that if you're going there, your shocks. If you're driving your own car, your shocks mm -hmm. and everything are going to be affected. You expend more fuel trying yeah. to navigate and all of that. Mm -hmm. It's a disincentive. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's good. If we really want to boost tourism, I think we need to look at the roads leading to this site. Yeah. Let's quickly do the Daily Graphic newspaper. New EC constitutional instrument. Don't use only Ghana card. Mm. It can disenfranchise millions. Guess who's speaking? The man. You've seen, the, you've seen his, yeah. his photo. You can call him the doyen of elections oh, yes, in yes. Ghana. It's in the fourth republic. Can't we say in um, Africa? Because his, well, his expertise was sought well, for by many well, countries. In, in well, you continent. have a point. Yeah. And especially looking at the transition, mm -hmm. you know, he actually mm -hmm. oversaw a transition yeah. back to back. Mm -hmm. And, about, and that, was, that, was, that was monumental. Dealing yeah. with a situation where Kufour came and took over, mm -hmm. John Ejekum Kufour yeah. came and took over from 2000, mm -hmm. and then again overseeing the exchange from 2008 mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. to the NDC. Mm -hmm. This man, we can't talk elections without him. But what has he been saying? The decision of the Electoral Commission to use the Ghana card as the only source document for continuous voter registration can disenfranchise millions of qualified electorate. A former chairman of the EC, Dr. Kwejo Afarijan, has stated, he said, with many Ghanaians finding it difficult to get their Ghana cards, making it the only form of identification for voter registration was against electoral inclusivity, fairness, and justice. I'm just going to end with this quote. He says, Ghanaian citizens don't lose their citizenship if they are 18 years or older, but do not have the Ghana card. So the moot question is, why make the Ghana card the only means of identification for purposes of establishing eligibility to register to vote? Very simple question. And um, uh, th there's talk about that later CI and all of that. But 
pertinent questions being raised here by none other, no less a person Kwajo. than Dr. Kwajo, Dr. Kwajo Afarijan. Afarijan. What, what do you make of this? No, no, I, I, I think <clears throat> that the Ghana card, we have all agreed that it is the, it is where we want to move to, mm. where we all have all our data in, in on, one place, one if you like. Yes. Right. And so if we say we're going to use that, I, I don't have a problem with it. I think the <clears> challenge is, when are we planning to start this exercise? And what is the assurance from the NIA that almost all, or all qualified people will have access to their Ghana card by then? Because I think that we, should, we, we have to get to a point where we say Ghana card is what we're using to right. do most of the things. Right. Because look, when we're able to build this system very well, the benefits are huge. And, and, and we agree. I mean, you know, we've had times here talking together with Bernice, mm -hmm. together with you, mm -hmm. about the relevance yeah. of this. No one can take that mm -hmm. away. I mean, administration in and out, they've tried to do this. Mm -hmm. The NDC attempted it. I mean, they, they did something, but it did not culminate in what we are seeing now. Mm -hmm. So it's progressive. Mm -hmm. But the point is the progressivity or progressiveness mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't rush certain things, mm -hmm. especially as the system is not yet what we would that want it to be. That is why I am asking the question. So progressively, when, when, when are we looking at, when are we looking mm -hmm. at using this Ghana card? Now we are told some, I mean, some, some or a little over 15 million people have access to the Ghana card. Right. 16 point something million of the cards have been printed. Right. Okay. How many people are pay, pay uh, the, the census we did? How many people are eligible right. to, to register for the voter, vo, right. voters, voters ID? So or to be part of the, you know, the voter because register. Because it's not the entire population. Exactly. Right. So if we know the number of people who are expected to be part of the register, and we know how many of such have had their cards given by the NIA, the remainder, what is a plan by the NIA to issue those cards? I, I think and, that- And, and it, that's mm -hmm. the tricky bit, because even in response in a related matter, the mm -hmm. same re-registration mm -hmm. exercise, uh, Professor Ken Atefua, the, the CEO of the mm -hmm. NIA, made a, a very important point. He says, this is a continuous process. We are mm -hmm. not bound by timelines. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense. Okay. Looking at the constraints we have faced, looking at the cues we have seen, looking at, I mean, the different dynamics, mm -hmm. logistics, accessibility, and all of that. I mean, there are people, for example, who, registered for their cards mm. uh, so, so many years ago. And maybe because uh, the, there was a town close to a major city, mm. they, it wasn't you know, put into the system correctly that they registered in this town, rather it was just the city, maybe Takradi, mm. that was put there. But there was a town close to Takradi. And now they don't even know where their cards were because their cards went elsewhere. Mm. Now it can't be mm. found anywhere. Mm. So there are all of those dynamics. But the yeah. point to be made is between now and 2024 as well, there are a lot of people who are going to turn 18. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who are going to be within that age bracket who would require the Ghana card, which is why in doing any, conducting any such exercise, we must be sure to in, you know, ensure, uh, <laughs> repeating that line, mm -hmm. that what Afarijan is, is suggesting here does not happen, that we mm -hmm. don't end up disenfranchising anybody. Mm -hmm. Already on the back of Saul, the San Trocofi, Akbafu, Likwe and Lulubi areas, mm -hmm. That dynamic in there, which is a different matter, we have ended up disenfranchising some people. But, but let's but, not let's not have another situation where, on the back of the Ghana mm -hmm. card, someone could be disenfranchised. But do you know that on that score, then we, there can never be a time where we will say that we are going to use only the Ghana card as a as a source of proving your nationality. Because which is, which is why because which is why Dr. Farijan is saying uh -huh. you may maybe since you've not got to that point mm -hmm. and. We should also have a mechanism in place mm -hmm. so that once, for example, you see, I always make the point about the vice president saying from the cradle to the grave, more or less, mm -hmm. you have the Ghana card, so you are born, you get a number, mm -hmm. unique number. When your biometrics are formed, they are taken, then you get your card, mm -hmm. and then the process follows from there, that we have a sort of rolling system so that if that system works, over time, when you turn 18, mm -hmm. there's even no need for anyone to say that the system yeah. recognizes you are 18 mm -hmm. and you are qualified mm -hmm. to vote. Mm -hmm. But we are not there so, yet, so, which so. is why maybe using mm -hmm. the Ghana card as the mm -hmm. sole document mm -hmm. to acquire voting rights mm -hmm. is problematic. But you know that from, from now on what? If we sort of do two national ID cards at a time, that means that we are still not eliminating the other cards. But why would we need two? We are putting everything on the, on the Ghana card. You have your voters, you have your passport, if you have a driver's license. All of these data is on that, 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 that uh, system and on that card, effectively. So why are we saying that, okay, we have to use two cards to prove one's nationality? 
Mm. I am thinking if we want to go by by this, yes, we'd have but, to but, wait but, for but eight obviously, years obviously, before we can. Obviously, I am thinking are, that it's people. about it's the processes mm. where the EC and the NIA should agree on 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 a certain line or a certain way of, of handling this, mm. so that the two entities, if I come to register for for the voters mm. and I don't have the the way I'm going to testify my or uh, guarantee my nationality when I'm regist registering for the Ghana card should be that same process where I can probably say I'm going to uh, testify for my nationality when I'm, I'm registering for the um, EC's vo voter card. Mm. There, should, there should be a collaboration between the two. Mm. Because if we say we are not there yet, we will wait forever mm. for this to work. And I think that we have to all agree to a point where we say we, we, all, we are all agreeing that let's do with this one card. Because I, I don't think there's a problem with that. I think mm -hmm. by and large, practically mm -hmm. every Ghanaian mm -hmm. buys into the fact that this card is a good thing. Mm -hmm. And integrating mm -hmm. all these other aspects, because you can't have a SNIT card, you're doing mm -hmm. both biometrics, mm -hmm. you have that card, biometrics, mm -hmm. this card, which is what we've been doing. Yeah. So you have one card that is a one-size-fits-all mm -hmm. card. That is fine. But ensure that while some people don't have the card, mm -hmm. if it comes to any registration exercise mm -hmm. for voting, mm -hmm. you make access available to them, at least in the interim, because mm -hmm. these same people are using other source documents, like the Ghana passport. How come you can use that to get your Ghana card, mm -hmm. but you can't use that to get your... Well, so, it's, so, it's, so those are so, some of the... So it's, it's a discussion I think we can all have yeah. and all agree, but I'm saying that the two entities should, should collaborate because look, the EC, the voters register, is a huge data we cannot joke with. Mm. The Ghana card, the National Identification Authority, has all of our data. So there should be a collaboration, an effective collaboration between the two entities mm. if we want to do away with all of these things. Let's make tracks. In other stories, that uh, head-on collision uh, where 12 people died is also captured on page 20 of the Daily Graphic newspaper. Students loan trust fund to prosecute defaulters. Story on page 13. And another interesting one, National Cathedral Board of Trustees, Men of Integrity, Prof uh, Professor Frimpong Manso uh, says uh, so. So the Students' Loan Trust Fund will, from September this year, begin the prosecution of persons who have defaulted in the repayment of their loans for over a 10-year period. The affected persons will include all who have benefited from the loan but are yet to repay despite being gainfully employed now. I like that addition because I was just about to say, how about if they don't have any gainful means of employment? Mm. The second bit... National Cathedral Board of Trustees, Men of Integrity, and the General Superintendent of the Assemblies of God Church, Reverend Professor Paul Frimpo Manso, has charged Christians not to allow political actors to divide their front in their resolve to support uh, the building of the National Cathedral. He stressed that the Board of Trustees was made up of men of integrity and not thieves or criminals, and had committed to the proper use and management of the money dedicated to the building of uh, the I, cathedral. I, I, I think it, the <clears throat> issue is not about politicians. Mm. The issue is about government not being forthright. I think the issue is about Ghanaians. Uh, mm. I, I think that is the mm. point that sometimes is missed. And even, no matter how good a mm. policy, mm -hmm. even when you go back to the Greek polis, where practically everyone would have to come together and vote, and then eventually they would have to select certain people and the concept of the philosopher king, it must be democracy mm. of the people, by the people, for the people. What do the people say what I do think, they want I think do they want a, a national cathedral mm -hmm. and and even if you are you're putting <clears throat> a national cathedral it's about transparency right things are not too transparent Ghanaians don't because you see all the <clears throat> the account that we've seen it just doesn't really uh, things don't add up uh, exactly and that's why people are not buying into it yeah. let's get into other stories well the finder says <clears throat> December in Ghana to attract 150,000 tourists hospitality fun leisure await them that's according to Dr. Awal. And uh, I'm, I'm, myself and my friends are planning to take some people to Takrady to be part of the Angkor Festival there. So yeah, uh, December in, in Ghana is, is an, is an yeah. you know, extraordinary period in, in our life. So we are with some great fun there. Access Bank Ghana records 43% growth in profit before tax. Um, our economy will bounce back. That's the story we dealt with. And then... This one says MPA left ban on construction of new LPG stations. It, a, it is cabinet because they themselves, MPA, made it clear that they were not the people who played the ban. Right. So it, it's only the cabinet that can lift it. So it's cabinet that lifted this ban, and that's paving way for more gas stations to be built. Mm. Mm. Let's get now into some to, stories. We have to state that <coughs> they are, these are not like new. These these are not like new stations. No, these were not. stations that were under construction exactly. before the ban exactly. in 2017. Exactly. So if you see that there was, there was a place where there was no gas station, and now because of this, a station is coming, the police you can report anyway. 
Honesty, exactly. Mm. Well, the Daily Guide, Africa to become job seekers destination. That's according to uh, Pastor Mensa Otabel. Uh, man bonks three daughters of find 12,000 Ghana CDs. 13 parish on Cape Coast at uh, Takwadi Road. Uh, mm. The Daily Guide reporting 13. But um, some quick uh, stories that I'd like us to look at. CD loses 7% value to mm -hmm. dollar. Um, uh, that is in the last month of the third quarter of 2022. This has taken the year to date depreciation to 20.5% on the interbank market. Those are the dynamics. And a very sad, very sad development. Uh, City FM's Bernard Pavle uh, 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 loses uh, 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 wife. And um, in fact, it's a very, very sad development if you've not caught, you know, mm. got wind of it yet. Um, Details of her sad demise are still sketchy, but widespread reports on Thursday alleged that she died on Wednesday evening. According to the reports, she collapsed, was rushed to a hospital facility, mm. but she couldn't survive. Our condolences to, our sincere condolences to Bernard, Bernardino, as uh, we all call him, uh, to the family and to the, you know, the city uh, group for mm. this loss. We commiserate with you. Uh, so it's a really sad development. Really tough times, you know, considering young their ages man. and, and man like three that. children in there and all of that. Not anything. You wouldn't wish this even on your no, worst enemy. Oh, no, Charlie. Really sad. I met really sad. him and a wife, I think in 2012 <clears throat> or 13 in UCC. Right. I think he's, he said the wife... Uh, attended the University of Cape Coast. So they came there I'm for not a, sure of that, but... I mean. uh, well, maybe. They, they were there for a program. He was a speaker, and he came there with, with her, and he has told her, really. And I was... Word is that everywhere he went, he wow. extolled his wife, her oh. virtues, and the fact that he was because she was. Kind of like the Ubuntu concept, you know. Right. And uh, we can only pray that mm. uh, God will strengthen him, together mm. with the family, through these very telling times. But... but Charlie. Tough. Anyway, yeah, very really tough. tough. Let's may, check out some may, other may God really, um, you know, be with him in these trying times. Amen. Now, the Delhi statement: Police probe bizarre death of couple in Kumasi. Oh um, yeah, that, that that very troubling story. I saw you almost shedding tears. Yeah. Yesterday, live on air. Charlie, Joy News Desk. Yeah. The, <clears throat> I mean, listening to the narrative, I was, I was moved mm. that a mother would have a daughter go and say bye-bye to her at the airport. And for five years, that's it. The lady comes back and look at the circumstance. That the, the woman dies, the husband preserves the body in the room, locks the children up in, in, in a room for how many months? Mm. And just to, you know, empathize with them, feel that you were the one in that situation. How would you have behaved? It's, it's such a tough times that kids have been in. And, and this is going to be with them for a very, I'm not sure they can even it's forget It's going to it. be traumatizing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is where often uh, PTSD and all of that come in. Post-traumatic, you know, stress disorder and all of that. Hmm. Especially when you, 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 you know that your mother died and they locked you up in a room. It's something else. So the, pro the police is probing into that. Now, Energy Ministry says a merry location followed extensive study. So, you know, um, uh, ASAP brought out some facts about this Amery relocation, saying that it was sole sourced and it was not good for the country. Energy Ministry says, well, we did a, an extensive study before agreeing on the relocation. So, let's see how this takes us. But again, one good story on the front page is that Sunyai Airport bounces back, President commissions refurbished facilities. So, let's see how you, now you can travel to Sunyai easily. In and out. That's a good development. I remember when we went there and all the talk about it. So it's a good development that now uh, it has got to the stage. To wrap with just two stories from two papers. The Accra Times, uh, Bagman commends MPs for standing on their ground. That's on page two. You can check out details from there. And in the Custodian newspaper on page eight, pictured here, Dr. Mustafa Abdul Hamid, the MPA boss. The story is government lifts ban on new LPG stations. And mm -hmm. that's uh, a wrap for me for the papers I have. Um, the Republic Press, he wasn't given bed at 37. Mami Dokuno narrates how Wache sadly wow. passed on. Um, you know, Kwame Japan says he wants to, this one says Kwame Japan cries foul as he declares presidential ambition. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. So let's see. He's been he's been taken quite a swipe at mm. uh, yeah. his own mm. party mm. and, and mm. Uh, the ruling government in recent times. Okay. Even at the finance minister. Electricity and water tariffs to go up from September 1. So prepare for it. Are you ready? Not ready. Even this morning I was complaining about fuel. Charlie, I went, to, I went to fill up and I was like, no. I probably have to charge anybody who asked me to come and do something for him. I yeah, 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 yeah. Charlie, right now. Nowadays, driving long distance Eesh. is something I don't usually do because at the end of the day, Charlie. what used to cost me about 230, 240 CDs is now costing me about 560 oh. plus CDs. The full situation is serious. It is. Charlie, this one, it hit me. It hit you. Eh? Yeah. Where did it hit you? In the jaw or in the... <laughs> in the tummy and the jaw. Like two blows. You know, when someone hits right. you like this. At least you weren't knocked out. We thank God for that. I was. Just that I, I put up a brazen face. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. I was knocked out, really. You're like the Royal Storm. Dugby. Charlie, yeah. You survived. Yeah. Survived. You took the punches. Your face was a bit, but mm, you, but I'm, I'm you okay. retained your title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie. Charlie. You know how we do. Yeah. Thanks for joining me. For those of you who did the watching, thanks for joining us as well. Sports is up next. After that, I'll be sharing with you my blunt thoughts today on, some call it the resource curse. We have practically everything, but how much are we making out of what we have? And is our royalties system really working for us in Ghana? Stay with us for all of that.